Hey, what's going on everyone? So it looks like once again, Nvidia is going to limit the performance of the RTX 3060 in terms of mining performance. So I think we should talk about that and what you should be expecting if you're looking to buy a 3060 in the near future. And while we're talking about 3060s, I thought maybe we would talk about the old version of the 3060. And I bought this about four weeks ago. I haven't actually done too much gaming on it, but I have done some mining on it. So I thought I would talk about my experiences mining with this card. And uh, I think we should also talk about whether you should buy the old version of the 3060 or whether you should buy this new version that's coming up um, with the anti-mining limiter on it because maybe that version will be cheaper. All right, let's quickly go through the article from WCCF Tech and it reads here, Nvidia GeForce RTX 3060 to silently get new GA106-302 GPU will once again limit hash rate in cryptocurrency mining algorithms. And uh, it says here, in a report by HKEPC via Igor's lab, it is reported that NVIDIA is already working on a brand new version of the GA106 GPU. This new GPU will be known as GA106302 and will replace the existing GA106300 GPU featured on the GeForce RTX 3060 graphics card. The primary reason to produce this brand new GPU is to restrict cryptocurrency miners from unlocking the full mining hash rate capabilities of the graphics card. Um, and there's a tweet here from copy 7 Kimmy. He says, I've said before, maybe not GA106 only. For example, we would meet GA102, 302. That would be the um, 3080 and the GA104302, and that would be the 3070. So we may also get new cars for 3070 and 3080 as well. And Cop by 7 Kimmy has been pretty good with his leaks. So I wouldn't be surprised if they brought out new cards for the 3070 and 3080 that have these mining limiters on them. So if you have one of those old cars, that's gonna be quite valuable uh, to keep around. So uh, don't go off and sell that uh, old car just yet if you were thinking about selling it uh, just keep it for a little bit longer until uh, they bring out these new cars with these anti-mining limiters maybe you'll get even more for your old card so it looks like the 3060 will have an anti-mining limiter on it uh, and it will probably be about 50 percent of the ethereum hash rate now with the old 3060 uh, that also had that anti-mining limiter on it uh, but you could mine other coins with it so to the full hash rate. So you could mine, say, Conflux um, and get the full hash rate, but you'd probably make only about 75% of what Ethereum is worth. So you'd only be able to make $3 a day and Ethereum would make you $4 a day if you were to mine that at the full hash rate. Um, with the limiter, it would be like $2 a day. Uh, so most people, I think, would probably just go off and buy another card, like a 3070 or a 3080 or a 3090, because all of these cards are based off of the return on investment. So it's just more options for you if you just go and buy a 3070, you can go and mine it the full Ethereum hash rate. And because uh, it was based on a return on investment, you'd make the same money, you'd make the money back at, in the same time. Uh, so there's really no difference if you buy a 3090 or a 3070, you make the money back in the same time. It just depends on how much you want it to spend. So for all of the people who think, well, you can just buy the new 3060 because somebody will hack that 3060 to unlock the full hash rate. Well, the old 3060 was never actually hacked. So um, after about one or two weeks, there was a beta driver that Nvidia accidentally released onto their website, which unlocked the full hash rate. Um, and this was an area where it was just for developers only. So I think um, if it was not hacked in one or two weeks, then we don't really know how long it's gonna take for them to hack the new 3060. All right, let's talk about the previous version of the 3060, the one that's currently on sale right now. And this 3060, it comes with a lot of caveats and you know, this is something that you have to think about before you go and buy the card because the 3060, it will only run at the full unlocked hash rate with this beta driver for 70.05. So you can probably never change your driver or go to another driver because that's going to 
um, lock your hash rates. So that's something that you need to be mindful of. If you're a gamer, you probably don't want to get the 3060 if you want a game in mind. Just go and get like another card that you can get. Like just go and get the RX 6700 XT. It's probably about the same price and you don't have to worry about uh, any of these caveats. Uh, the other thing is that you have to have a monitor plugged in uh, or an HDMI dummy plug. And so the HDMI dummy plug is the easiest way to do it because it will simulate a monitor. And so you'll get the full hash rate all the time. And then just plug your monitor into one of the other ports. Um, but actually when I first got the card, I had no idea like what was going on. So um, I would turn off the monitor and then I'd only get half the hash rate. And I'd be like, okay, it must be the monitor then uh, that's causing me to get half the hash rate. So I was leaving the monitor on uh, the whole time uh, I also tried to put a screensaver on and that would give me really weird hash rates because as soon as I put the screensaver on, I would get maybe like 60% of the hash rate. I would get like 30 mega hash a second uh, and I would never get the full hash rate uh, when I put the screensaver on. So that was really weird. Uh, and then of course, this is only a Windows driver. So you have to run it on a Windows system. So if you are planning like to get a 3060 and then maybe later on add some more later and then add those into say a Linux mining rig, then you would only get half the hash rate because you have to run it on another driver, which is not this 470.05 because this one is just a Windows driver. So I think there's a lot of caveats with this. Um, you'd only be able to ever put it into a Windows mining rig. Uh, with this 3060. So I think um, given that there are lots of other choices on the market, you wouldn't have to get this. I think this is only really useful if you have a second system that you're always going to leave on this 470.05 driver. Maybe you're going to do some video editing or some work or whatever and you, your main focus is not actually games, then uh, I would say, yeah, the 3060 would be okay for something like that. Um, now, in terms of whether you should get the old 3060 or the new 3060, uh, I would say once again, like if you are going to be mining full time on uh, a PC and this is going to be the only card in that PC, I would say, yeah, you'd probably just go ahead and get that old version of the 3060 uh, with the full hash rate because then you would get 48 mega hash a second and you're just going to be using it for work anyway so it's not really like you need to update your drivers for any of the latest games um, but i think there is a case to be made for the new 3060 if this uh, anti-mining limiter does stick then you should see that there'd be more supply in the markets hopefully more supply um, and then if there's more supply, hopefully that will bring the prices down a little bit and then people see that this card is based on return on investment, which is going to be like 25, 26 mega hash a second. And then if it's going to be that, then hopefully that reduces the price somewhat. That's kind of what I think, like if you really want to mine, get the old version of 3060. If you want to game, uh, wait for the new 3060. That's going to be it for this one, I think. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button. Also to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. And I'll see you in the next one.